Welcome into this Mountain Jacks Pub and Restaurant Extra Point. I'm Ed Lane Ryan. We saw Bassett come out 27 to nothing victory tonight against Floyd County in the benefit game. First impressions for Bassett. I thought Devontae Jordan did a really good job, you know, taking the uh, the quarterback position and kind of running with it tonight. He kind of liked up the job. It seems like Jake Hilder told us as much afterwards. Thought he did a really good job controlling the offense. Much better ball control as well. I thought OJ Witcher was a very big impact in the running game as a running back as well. I think he should probably be their uh, their main back. Yeah, I think you know, one thing that I really liked out of this was also the passing that we saw from Devontae Jordan. He, he hit a lot of targets in the right spot. There were some drops. There were some balls that were thrown. But both of them really did a good job of setting their feet and getting the ball delivered quickly. Something that, you know, as the competition increases and the pressure goes up, the young offensive line, that's going to have to pay some dividends. And also, yeah, the, the, the Bassett front seven on defense, they were phenomenal, especially in that first half. Not a lot of positive plays for Foy County. And I thought their, uh, their linebackers were tremendous in that front three. They had a really good job eating up blockers and allowing those linebackers to get through. Yeah, we certainly saw the linebackers make some plays. Uh, certainly good front seven play as well. You look at Des Harrison getting a couple of sacks. Ryan Wilkerson at defensive end making some impact plays. That whole linebacking corp, the unit especially with Ryan Akers leading the way, Xavier Johnson. I mean, this is a really good front seven that has a chance to carry an offense that really has some upside. Yeah, they, they had a lot of they had a, because of the defense, they have a chance early in the season to be in a lot of games with a young offense. Hopefully they can hang around and uh, make a lot of games competitive. And they're going to need that from this defense because, like we said, the offense is kind of young. Quick impressions. What do you like going into North Stokes this coming Friday, and what do they need to improve upon? I like Low Jay Witcher at the running back position a lot. I like the way he runs. He's kind of small. He's only 5'9", but he gets low and he runs with his pads. And I like the defense. The front seven of the defense. They did an excellent job stuffing the run tonight, especially up the middle. They need to get a little bit better to the outside. But I like the, uh, the front seven of their defense. Very impressive. I like Devontae Jordan. I loved what I saw out of him as a quarterback, a guy that really impressed me the way he spoke when we had him on our NorrisFuneral.com postgame show as our Cunningham Tire Player of the Week. A congratulations to him. I will receive a free oil change and oil filter courtesy of Cunningham Tire. For Ryan Stone of Med Lane, we hit the old dusty trail from Ed Bassett Stadium. Our high school football game of the week debut comes your way Friday from Moorhead where the Martinsville Bulldogs and Coach Ryan Mike Martin make his season and career debut at Martinsville. Martinsville at Moorhead, 5 p.m. Mountain Jacks tailgate show, 7 o'clock kick on ESPN Southside.